presenter app, you can set up multiple output screens so that the in-house audience, online audience, and even the worship team can each have a screen formatted for their specific needs. To get this set up, click this monitor-shaped icon and select Configure from the drop-down menu. Once that's open, we're going to work under the Screen Configuration section. Before I continue, let me clarify some of the language that we use here in Presenter. When we use the term screen or output, we're referring to the content being presented, such as your lyrics, slides, images, etc. It also includes the content's formatting or templates, which we'll get into later. On the other hand, when we use the term display, we're referring to whatever is receiving and presenting your content to the audience, like a projector, computer monitor, TV, etc. You can add as many different screens with different formats as you'd like, but keep in mind that the display section will only show displays that are currently hooked up to the presenter computer, excluding the computer itself. In my case, I have two external monitors named Display 1 and Display 2, which are connected to this computer via HDMI. Now that we have that cleared up, you should see two screens in this box by default, the main audience output and stage display. Let's click on main audience output. This screen is dedicated to anything being projected to the main, sanctuary audience. All the cues you've created will be presented to the main audience exactly as you have designed them in your cue list. Notice how my main audience output is currently being sent to display 1. You can easily change it to another display if needed. Now let's move on and take a look at the stage display, which is a confidence monitor for the worship team, pastor, or anyone else on stage. My stage display is currently going to display number 2, since main audience output is currently using display 1. Now let's say I'm using OBS for live streaming and I need a third screen for my live stream presentation. I can add a screen here and name it live stream. Now if you have a display number 3, all you have to do is select that as an option here, but in my case, I only have two displays hooked up to this computer. So I either have to give up my stage display or use the window option, which opens up a new window on this computer to mimic a third display when you don't have one. I'll leave an article in the description below with more information about the window display if you're interested. Now, when it comes to live streaming, churches typically like to put lyrics on the lower part of the screen rather than in the middle of the screen. To override the main slide formats to a different template, all you have to do is select the screen that you want to change, and then select your desired template here. When you change the template, it will change your song cues and your scripture cues to the new template, so your main audience output would see the centered lyrics, while the live stream audience would see the lower third lyrics. If you need to make a new template or manage existing ones, click Songs and hit the Templates button. Last but not least, this window here helps you monitor what is being sent out to each display in real time. If you click on this blue bar, you can actually switch and preview a different screen. So now that you know how to set up multiple outputs in Presenter, here is what all my screens look like as I'm presenting them. Here's what it looks like for the person running the Presenter program. And then you have this screen for your main audience, lower thirds for your live stream audience, as well as a stage display for your folks on stage. Now this is just one way that you might use multiple outputs. Feel free to customize your outputs to serve your church's needs. And if you need to learn more about presenter or the stage display, planning, music stand, etc., make sure to check out our website.